Pyramid Visuals received a brief from Greenpeace asking us to produce a banner 22 metres by 22 metres onto an eco-friendly material. The banner was in support of a petition with the centrepiece artwork by Kurt Weiner. Hello, I am Kurt Wenner, the creator of the Greenpeace three-dimensional pavement mural. The once impermanent works can now be produced as durable or even permanent public art installations. The Greenpeace project is an important step in this evolution, as both the size of the image and the technology involved in creating the massive 11 gigabyte digital file are record setting. The work represents both a new form of artistic expression and an effective means to carry an important message to an international audience. From a production point of view, one of the biggest challenges was getting the files over from America. The file size was 12 gigabytes, and this had to be condensed to enable our printers to print from it. We overcame this problem by reducing the files and sending them over in sections. These sections were about one or two gigabytes each. Once the gigabytes came over, we then rasterized the files and the files shrunk down the resolution and that enabled us to print them on the two printers. One of our next problems was to source uh, environmentally friendly material. This we did, we went to our main supplier, Dixon Sinclair, and they have an environmental range. We chose a Jet 220 that contained no extractable heavy metals and was free from PVC. It also had no carcinogenic or allergenic colourings. The Jet 220 is made from a water-based raw material. It also enabled us to dispose of it into a landfill when the project was finished because it has no leachates that come out of it. Once the files were ripped and ready, they were rendered and then taken over to the two printers that we were going to use. We were going to use an XL Jet 5 meter plus to print the main body of the print which was done in 22 sections and then we decided to do the signatures, all a million of them, on the HP Design Jet 9000 so that the clarity and the resolution of the images were seen. At the end of the printing process we were left with 22 pieces of material. We then had to get these 22 pieces of material to form one big banner. We did this by using a hot air welder and then reinforced stitching it using a sewing machine. Once this was completed, we were left with a 380 square metre banner. The banner encapsulates both the artwork and the petition signatories. This particular petition is the first of its kind to be presented as a citizen's initiative, a principle enshrined in the EU-Lisbon Treaty, allowing one million European citizens to formally request that the Commission take steps to address their demands. On September 28, 2010, the target quota of 1 million signatories was achieved, demonstrating the overwhelming international public opposition to GM crops. Once the banner was finished, we packaged it up, put it into the vehicle, and we drove it over to Brussels, where we handed it over to the client, where it was being unveiled to the public. Given the obstacles we faced all the way through this project, from the coordination of the parties involved, spanning three different countries and time zones, to sourcing of the correct substrates for the clients, and overcoming how we receive such large pieces of artwork electronically, ensuring that the quality and legibility of the printing and the meticulous production of the banner all within the strictest deadline. This clearly demonstrates that Pyramid Visuals can deliver both on a personal and professional level at all stages of a client's brief.